So I've tried to avoid discussing this for a while because I don't like to, I guess, disparage characters. I'd rather talk about the ones I like or something that was done well with them. Out of the 10 current Straw Hats, the only one I can say I don't like or am always tempted to say I don't really have any affinity for is Brooke. Um, and that's mostly due to his usage in the story past Thriller Bark. And let me let me kind of just segment this. So when I first saw Brooke, when I was reading Thriller Bark for the first time, I liked the way he looked. I liked his backstory of being the one person within his crew that uh, survived thanks to his devil fruits. And, you know, also that, that dream of wanting to meet with Baboon, a character that we had met much earlier in the series. I thought all of it tied together well. He had a tragic backstory that make, made him similar to the rest of the Straw Hats. You know, just a very solid premise, right? And in the arc when he fights Rayuma, when he helps against Ors, it's those are moments that solidified my liking of the character. Even if I was kind of annoyed with the running gag of him asking to see women's underwear. Um, because again, he seemed to carry his own weight. Now, after having an arc where... And Thriller Bark is one of my favorite arcs in the series because it's the only one with, where we have the full crew before they all get separated from each other. It's got some pretty interesting villains. You got Hogback, Perona, Absalom, uh, with some you know different types of powers, some good one-on-one -on -one matches. Um, ironically enough, Brooke probably is the part of it I like the least, even though I still would say he's a good addition to it. It's just that when I, re when I revisit it, I'm always like, Man, there's got to be some alternate universe where instead of Brooke joining, Perona joined, if only. <laughs> but anyways, um, I give his character in Thriller Bark by itself an A+. I have no complaints. I didn't like the running gag of the underwear thing. But again, that was just a thing I accepted because he carried his own weight. So we get to Saba the Archipelago. He gets split from the rest of the crew. And he's out of the story... Up until we get to uh, Fishman Island, where to me he didn't really seem to do anything of note. And this kind of is like where the issues first start arising. That And this is something that Grand Line Review has also talked about. That he's like a guest a guest star party member where he because he wasn't around for multiple arcs before the crew was separated. Um, it's a lot harder to feel as if they've done anything with him. And that's that's typically my issue with him that he suffers from a lot of the same issues that most of the straw hats besides those first five have had since the time skip started which are these like big chunks of just not being focused on but unlike someone such as chopper or robin and to an extent frankie as well uh he doesn't have the courtesy of leaning back on development from previous arcs that focused on him bef before the time skip started now that might you might say to yourself, well, do you dislike Frankie? Because a lot of people feel that way towards him after a time skip. And I, I would certainly say he is a character I don't care that much for, but I, I would never say I dislike him because he is interesting to me. Um and you know, just doesn't annoy me. But I wanna like talk about the running gag with the the underwear thing because I think it would have been better if that had been left out of his character. If he just made jokes about I I can't you know, uh, grow this or use the bathroom because I'm a skeleton. <laughs> you know, that would have been fine to me because those were jokes that were specific to him. But it's like, you know, Sanji already was the pervert. We kind of have that a little bit with Frankie, not really. But it's like we already have a character who who is, you know, interested in women. Let's put it mildly like that. Because, uh, you know, Zoro and Luffy don't really care. And neither the Zusop for the most part either. So... To have a character that seems to like retread the same ground, but also appear to be much, much weaker, it, it makes me not interested in him. Because uh, he's, to me, that's why I said he feels like a waste of space, because his running gag is something that is handled, in my opinion, much better with Sanji. Because it's, you know, less, uh, it's, it is more gentleman-like to just show favoritism toward women outside of asking them for their underwear. Uh, and it's, you know, he just felt to me like someone that was retreading a lot of similar ground. 
because of that running gag. And then it's like, he'll keep asking. I thought, okay, maybe it's every time he meets a new woman, he asks him that question. He asks Nami the same thing after the time skip. Like, you know, that that's what makes me a little more irritated because I don't find this joke to be amusing, especially when it's just like overdone with the same couple of characters that he's interacting with who already said no to him before. Uh, so, you know, it's that part of him irritates me. But let's get to some of his highlights because I think there are some more good things about Brooke I want to mention here. Um, I very much enjoyed him defeating Gaiola when she was the one that was stopping the the half of the Straw Hats that would end up going to Whole Cake Island uh, from leaving, which was during Dress Rosa. That was another, that was one of, that's probably the only moment he had before or after Whole Cake Island, I can really think of as like, wow, that was something cool that, that Brooke did. Um, now, Whole Cake Island is the arc that made me kind of start to reconsider how I felt towards him. And that's mainly because of him fighting Big Mom by himself, uh, helping the Straw Hats escape. You know, those are things that I thought were really nice that made me actually lean, you know, become a little bit softer toward the character. And again, I don't want to say I hate Brooke because I don't. He, he is... Um, He's just out of the straw hats, the one I like the least, and it's for the reasons I mentioned here, but it, it just sucks that he had a very interesting backstory. And because we have this, like, you know, and I always try to say that sometimes when you want to do something a little bit depressing with um, a story like One Piece, people will go, oh, it's, it's supposed to be light and kitty, but, you know, I, I don't believe that because we saw Robin become, you know, sad and uh, disillusioned during Water 7. I think Brooke would have been a much more interesting character if they kind of, like, had him just telling, you know, just regular jokes, like, none of the perverted stuff, because we already have that with Sanji. Uh, done in a much more tasteful way, in my opinion. Um, if instead of having him tell those types of jokes, he tells jokes, and then there's, like, a thing with his character where... When he's among the whole crew, he'll tell jokes. When he's among certain individual members, he will, like, open up about how, you know, there was this one guy on my crew, he used to make me some food every morning, and now I don't have that anymore. Because, you know, you always have to rem remember that he's the oldest member. He's the one who theoretically had the largest life before joining the crew. So I think it would be very interesting if they had him kind of, in this somber way, reflect on his past life. Um, from time to time, but it, it just seems like we can never, you know, one of the things, I like Marine Ford a lot, a lot of people do it, it's apparently the most popular arc of the whole series, but I do think it did hurt his character, because we're introduced to him, and then almost as soon as he starts being a straw hat, everybody gets separated, so the first way to fix him probably would be if he stayed with Luffy, you know, which, if somebody wants to say how do you do that, they could have just had him hide somewhere or, you know, like I said, Oda could have thought of something. I believe that have Kuma teleport Luffy and, and Brooke to the same, to, to Hancock's Island. But I, I say that because I really do believe that if he had joined around the time Frankie did, or maybe in that during Jaya or somewhere else, he didn't tell the perverted jokes or rather the same joke over and over again. And they actually let him assist with fighting I would like the character a lot more. He has a design I like. He has a you know voice a voice actors that are doing a good job. Um, he's in a series I I love. So it it's just it's really frustrating to be a fan of a series where one of the protagonists, one of the main protagonists that you see over and over again, is someone that every time they open their mouth, you're not really that excited or interested in what they have to say. Um, you know, it's like if they made Robin join the crew and then after that she was asking to see people's underwear every arc, I'd be annoyed by her too. And then she's not even like helping during any of the fights or if she does help in the fights, it's like 300 plus chapters after she's first introduced, uh, you know, outside of her initial arc. I would be irritated with her as her character's one. In a lot of ways, I am irritated with the current characters of, you know, Robin and Nami and... Uh, Frankie, but again, they have the reliability of being able to say these were these past arcs where they were focused on, whereas Brooke doesn't really have that. So this is why he's my least favorite of the Straw Hats. 
I would have preferred if they had Perona join instead because I think she's a much more interesting character. Has powers I really like. Uh, I could do a whole separate video about why she's good, but you know, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, if you're a Brooke fan, I'm glad you enjoy him. You know, I I don't um, I kind of feel some affinity with people like that because I really enjoy the character of Big Mom, but I'll freely admit she is nowhere near being one of the most popular in the series. So. You know, I accept that, like, certain stuff I like isn't liked by other people. Um, you know, and I, I'm not, I'm, I'm fully content with that. It's, uh, there are a lot of characters in this series, and there are bound to be ones that some of us aren't interested in. So, thanks for watching.